In this topic, we are going to understand what is repo rate, what is cash reserve ratio, and how the Reserve Bank of India uses these methods that are part of the monetary policy for curbing inflation. In the end, we will also try to understand about the new LIC IPO that was released yesterday, that is on 4th May 2022. So we'll try to understand whether you should invest in the LIC IPO or not. Alright then, let's begin. What is repo rate? If I have to explain it to you in the simplest manner, just imagine yourself taking a loan from a bank. When you take a loan from a bank, naturally you have to pay interest. This much is clear, right? Similarly, banks borrow money from central bank whenever there is a shortage of cash. In India, the central bank is the Reserve Bank of India. So banks borrow money from the Reserve Bank of India whenever they are short on cash. When banks borrow money from RBI, even banks have to pay interest to RBI. Repo rate is the name given to this interest rate. Now, whenever RBI increases the repo rate, you will notice it will have a trickle-down effect. Banks that borrow money from RBI will have to pay more interest because of the increase in repo rate. That means the cost of borrowing for banks from RBI will increase. If at all the cost of borrowing for banks increases, then naturally that will be passed on to the common people like you and me. In a way, if you see when RBI increases the repo rate, which means RBI is discouraging banks as well as common people to take a loan. I mean RBI is not going to stop you, but it is telling you that you have to pay a higher interest rate if you take a loan. So this is a method by the central bank to reduce the money supply in the hands of people. When there is less money in the hands of people, consumption will decrease, which will eventually lower the demand and finally inflation decreases. Inflation means price rise. If demand is low, then naturally the prices of commodities will eventually go down. So I hope you have understood what the repo rate is. That is why you must have seen in the news that RBI has raised the repo rate by 40 basis points. So basically RBI has raised the repo rate to combat inflation, that is price rise. Now let's understand what is CRR, cash reserve ratio. So commercial banks have to hold a certain amount of deposit as reserves with the central bank. Let's take an example. Suppose you have a bank and let's assume that your bank's total deposit is 1 crore. That means every person who holds an account in your bank, if we calculate their total deposit, that would be rupees 1 crore. Now if the central bank says all commercial banks have to keep 4% of their total deposit as reserve with the central bank, that would be 4% of your bank's total deposit and that will come to 4 lakhs. That means your bank has to keep 4 lakh rupees as a reserve with the central bank. This reserve amount or this 4% is called the cash reserve ratio. Even CRR is used to keep inflation under control. So what RBI will do, it will raise the CRR. This means banks have to keep more money with the RBI. That also means less money will be left to banks to give loans. If banks have less money, not everyone is going to get a loan. This means less money in hands of people. And again the same logic is, if there is less money in the hands of people, consumption will decrease. That will lower the demand and finally inflation decreases. So if you have seen the news, RBI has raised the cash reserve ratio by 50 basis points. By the way, this basis point is calculated this way. So basically one basis point is equal to 0.01%. So 10 basis points means 0.1%. Like that 50 basis point means 0.5%. That means RBI has increased 0.5% on CRR and 0.4% on the repo rate. So yesterday, that is on 4th May, as part of monetary policy, RBI increased the repo rate and cash reserve ratio. Because of that, the Indian stock market went down by almost 2.3%. Just now, I have told you why RBI increased the repo rate and CRR. It is to curb inflation. That means in the coming weeks and months, the Indian market will face a liquidity crunch. So hold on to your cash, don't spend it on unnecessary things. And for those of you who have EMIs, they are expected to rise. And for those of you who are planning to take a loan, just hold on. RBI is right now fighting inflation. The cost of borrowing will increase and you will end up paying more. Either you will end up paying more or your loan tenure will increase. Just remember this, RBI is doing all of this to reduce the money supply in the economy. Basically suck out liquidity and bring down the elevated inflation that is at 5.7%. Apart from all of this, another interesting thing that happened yesterday was the government of India released the LIC IPO. As you all may know, the LIC IPO is India's biggest public issue till date. The total value of LIC IPO is set at 21,000 crores. 
As soon as it was released, investors went crazy and they oversubscribed. Meaning on day 1, 64% of investors had applied for share allotment. The government of India has also fixed the price band at 902 to 949 rupees per equity share. And if you are a LIC policy holder, then you get a 60 rupees discount on each share. If you are someone who's planning to invest, I want you to look at this whole situation critically. On one hand, RBI is using its monetary policy and raising the repo rate and CRR to curb inflation. And on the other hand, the government of India releases LIC IPO at a very low price. Now you may have a question, how do I know whether the price is low? So what you have to do is, you have to look at India's 5 biggest IPOs. That is Coal India, Paytm, Reliance Power, General Insurance and SBI Cards. If you look at the issue size, initial price and current price, when you compare it, you will come to the conclusion that the LIC's share price is comparatively low. Plus all other big IPOs are currently in huge losses. And then if you look at the previous price at which the government wanted to issue LIC shares, it was set at 2000 to 2100 rupees back in the month of March. Now the question is, when the country is going through high inflation and monetary policy has been enacted to curb inflation, that means in the coming weeks and months, there will be a liquidity crunch in the market. So how come the government fixed the price band at such a low price? This raises a lot of questions. Is the government trying to lure the public into putting their money in the LIC shares? Is the government trying to push public in buying the LIC share and shift the burden on retail investors? There are many such questions. And one more thing that you have to understand is that many people invest in IPO simply to make quick money. Because let's say you apply for an IPO and let's say you got your allotment. Everyone knows that on the day of listing, the share price will go up to a certain limit and you will make some profit. Even that is considered as capital gain. So today, if so many people are oversubscribing the LIC IPO, then on the day of listing, who will buy the shares at a premium price? Because on the day of listing, someone has to buy, only then you will get to sell. That's how you will make a profit. Suppose on the day of listing, there are not many to buy LIC shares at a premium price. Then naturally, LIC shares price will go down. But then the opposite is also true. Who knows on the day of listing, LIC shares may shoot up. Because the market is made up of millions of investors and traders who have different ideas about the value of a specific stock and how much they are willing to buy or sell it. So things can go either way. If you are someone who is planning to invest in LIC IPO, just keep in mind that in the coming weeks and months, there will be a cash crunch in the market. Because that is the reason RBI has increased the repo rate and CRR to curb money supply and inflation. In this situation, it is always recommended that you must have enough liquid cash in your hand or in your bank account. And for those of you who have extra cash, you can try your luck and invest. But still, don't invest heavily as of now. Keep enough cash with you because you will need it. Don't invest heavily just to become rich in a short time. I hope you find this video informative. Thank you for watching it. And by the way, these videos are also available as podcast. You can find them on Spotify and Google Podcast. The links are there in the description.